What's up everybody? Today is a little speed test with the PSC EVL 34. Um, draw length is at 29 and a half, pull in 67 pounds. Um, I could get it to 70, but I'd be pretty far inside spec. I mean, limb bolts are maxed out, maxed out so like couldn't go any further. Um, bow's tuned, shooting great, feeling good. I could maybe twist up the cable and get an extra pound in, but I mean, it doesn't really do that much, that, that big of a difference. So I just left it. It draws comfortable. Everything is good. So 67 pounds it is, 29 and a half inch draw. First arrow is 479, victory rip, 300 spine with, so each one of these little brass circle things, there are 20 grains. So I got a hundred and forty grain point with sixty grains insert. So two hundred up front, um, three max stealths, three hundred spines. So that's the heaviest. And then I got my personal arrow, which is a victory rip three hundred spine with one twenty up front with a sixty grain insert, three max stealth. Um, my personal hunting arrow, 459 grains, shoots great, feels good, groups really good, hits hard. I mean, it's not flying super fast, but it's flying fast enough to where I still can, if I want to throw a fixed blade broadhead, I can, I shoot severs, but if I want to, still tune great. Um, this is my old arrow setup, Victory Rip, 350 spine, same uh 180 up front three max stealth this is 444 greens uh with the psc the 350 spine didn't like it i have a video on uh first video ever loaded uploaded how not to tune a bow it was with this arrow no matter what i did shim the cam i had to put so much twist into the left yoke shim the cam all the way over to the left finally got this to shoot a bullet hole noticed that my cam was actually scraping my yoke my left side yoke so i had to move everything back realized that it was a poundage issue both it's just a spine issue so i backed the poundage down to 66 same arrow moved everything back to the middle same arrow bullet hole realized i need to get a stiffer spine that's why i went with the 300s and i haven't had an issue since um but yeah this is an old arrow setup and then i have a Victory VAP TKO. This is a micro diameter. My Victory Rips are small diameter. This is my buddy's old arrow. I got 100 grains up front and I think, I think this is 40 or 50. I can't remember what this is up front. Um, total arrow weight is 412. So nothing crazy. Um, and then I have a standard gold tip hunter xt 340 spine three blazers 100 grains up front and i think that's what 11 grains or 12 grain inserts this is 408 and then i shaved the fletchings off threw 100 grains up front 350 spine uh a 340 spine gold tip hunter xt this is 384 so all in that 400 range with that 384 grain being the lightest. Um, I don't know, growing, live, uh, hunting in Hawaii, especially on Maui, the biggest thing we get to hunt is, per, I mean, if you're not hunting on private land, all well, public land, the biggest thing we get to hunt is pigs. And you throw a fixed blade broadhead on there. I don't, I wouldn't, especially in like the 459 to 479, you throw a fixed blade on there. Pretty sure you'd be blowing out the back. I, I haven't really shot too much monster pigs. I've shot some decent sized ones, but uh, uh, we also hunt axis deer. So you, you kind of want your arrow to be decently fast, still hard hitting. I've seen deer duck and um, arrows pretty close. Um, so you don't want to go too heavy, in my experiences. People have their own experiences, but stuff that I've seen seen animals duck so especially seeing some axis deer they're skittish especially where we hunt i mean they're hunted all year long 365 days of the year 
there's no seasons you can shoot a thousand of them if you want um so they're really skittish but yeah let's get started 479 grains to start with Two seventy five at a four hundred and seventy nine grain arrow. So pretty getting some pretty good speeds. Four seventy five. Um, let me just write that down real quick. Just trying to keep it all scientific. Not 475, 275. <laughs> 275, I don't know if I said four. My brain, I thought I said four, but that's fast. 270, I mean, that's pretty fast for a 479 grain arrow. I think it is. Um, my personal hunting arrow, 459 grains. Two hundred and seventy nine on that one, my personal hunting arrow. So four grains difference. Um, but the arc on this, I bet it's probably just a little bit better. That's why, and like I said, it, it, it spines out good. It's and my personal hunting arrow, so the, the victory rips are all cut at 27 and a half inches. It's carbon to carbon. Um, I just picked that arrow length and they seem to spine out really good. So I kept it. Okay. This is interesting because I want to see how fast this 444 grains are flying. Um, just because if I, if they're flying, if it's flying nice, then I might just take off the, the 20 grain brass insert on my personal hunting arrow and then go from there to pick up a little bit speed. But we'll see. For right now, 444 grains. Let's go. That doesn't seem right. 278. Let's shoot that one again. Let me take a step back real quick. Lighter grains and it's slower than mine. So I was like, that doesn't seem correct. I'm getting a duplicate 278 feet per second.
shoot that one more time. That doesn't seem right. Maybe that little extra weight pushes it a little faster. That's where momentum comes into play, huh? Kinetic energy, all that hoopla. That's interesting. I got 279 grains. I shot that three times and it's only a yard, uh, one FPS off. So I guess we're gonna go with that. Take the shade off because it was a little overcast. Let me throw the shade out. Well, the sun came out. So let me try to throw the shades on and uh we'll shoot that one more time see if that makes a difference so fourth time's the charm 444 and 444 grains. Can. Duplicated 279. Interesting. Interesting. So, so guys, it's not that big of a difference. Just write that down. Maybe there's like a, I'm not, this is just pure assumption, but maybe there's like a, a negative point where if it's not down by a certain amount of grains, it doesn't lose that much FPS. Um, who knows? That's just a thought, but next up is a 412 grain micro diameter. This is the one that I want to see. This thing is... I've seen my friend shoot this and these things fly fast. So... Let's check this out. Now that's cooking. That is a huge jump. 280, 287 grains. Okay. That's cooking. That's cooking. To me, that's cooking. That's pretty dang fast. My buddy shoots. Um, my buddy shoots an 80 pound PSC EVL 32, and he's I think he's two with a 27 and a half inch draw, and he's shooting about 295 feet per second. That's fast. So that's 287 feet per second. 
This is gonna be interesting. This is a 400 and, let me check if I'm recording. Okay, that would have suck all this talking and not recording. 408 grainer. Two ninety, two hundred ninety feet per second. That's that's fast. This is a gold tip Hunter XT three forty spine. Mm, let me write that one down. Two ninety. Yes. Okay. Now this is the one that I want to see. Three hundred. Three hundred and eighty grains. Three hundred eighty-four grains. Getting knock pinned with these fat. I think there's a DT knock on the gold tips gold tip knocks so I noticed that with the last one I drew back you see the arrow like lift up and land so that might affect the speed that probably affect the speed I don't know by how much but I'm assuming that affects the speed let's go 384 green Two hundred and ninety-nine feet per second. Looks like I'm a little, a little knock high, but sitting in, sitting in the target. The left and the left and right pairs are pretty good, but looks like I'm a little knock high. That's cooking. That's cooking. 299 FPS. Okay. So, conclusion is heaviest arrow, 479 grains, is 275 feet per second. 400 and four, 459 grain arrow my personal hunting arrow is 279 feet per second my old hunting arrow which is 444 grains is 279 feet per second i'm gonna shoot that again um maybe a little later i might shoot it now we'll see we'll see what we get I might shoot my personal hunting arrow again, see what we sp see what speed we get. Um, but yeah, let's finish this. 412 grain arrow, which is the Victory VAP TKOs, is 287 feet per second. It's a lot of numbers. The Gold Tip Hunter XT. 408 grains is 290 feet per second and the gold tip hunter xt 384 grains is 299 feet per second 
relatively fast. I mean, none of them is below 270, which is kind of going more towards the slower end. I think anything above 275 is relative is decent speeds you know you're gonna get some good aero flight trajectory shouldn't be too high shouldn't have too much of an arc um yeah i'm gonna shoot my personal hunting arrow again the 459 grains and we'll see what we get because the last time i checked when i was pulling 69 pounds I got 283 feet per second so did two pounds really drop you down that much I guess so we're gonna shoot this again 459 grains I must be putting it in the wrong spot because now I got 270, 275. Let me try that again. Maybe I gotta put it a little higher. Let's try that one more time. Uh, it's a little better, I guess. So, all these numbers could be completely wrong because <laughs> I'm getting some different, some different numbers. But let me try that one more time. Shoot in the comment. Let me know in the comments is how far you stand back from the chrono, and uh. Do you shoot it directly in the middle? Like height wise, are you a little bit low directly in the middle? Are you kind of like lower to the the chrono? Higher? Let me know if I'm doing it wrong. Cause I swear I was shooting my arrows because this sight tape that I have on my black gold is 280 feet per second sight tape. So, and it's hitting, it's hitting really good at 75 yards. Um, let's take a step back just a little. So, I don't know if it's just me putting in the wrong spot. Let me know in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. Seventy-five. So, I think I might be doing something wrong. But the other numbers, handwriting is disgusting. Um, but yeah, gotta make a quick little video on the speeds that I'm getting out of this bow. Um, decent speeds, like I said, hunting in Hawaii. You want a decent, a decently weighted arrow, nothing too crazy, unless you're hunting pigs over some over a feeder, um, where you know they're going to be within 20 yards. Do a lot of spotting and stalking, so being able to have a decently weighted arrow and shooting some speeds, so you can get to those longer shots. To me, I think is a little bit more beneficial. Um, but yeah. Little speed test. 
like comment subscribe it really helps um and i just do this for fun but it'd be really cool to reach some more people show them some more information i'm a backyard bow hunter so i mean my opinion is i don't know how much it means to the average person but hey if i can reach some more people that'd be pretty cool um yeah quick little speed test and uh, i might i might make a video throw up my paper tuner and uh shoot each of these arrows through paper and see what kind of tears i get just to just to see be interesting to find out um if i can if the bow would like to, i know i know this one the 440 grain bow is not gonna like this one but uh yeah it'd be cool to try maybe give a quick little test on that but uh other than that Go have fun, shoot a bow, um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Phew.